Doctor, we thank you for your time. Our topic is shingles. And I guess the first question has to be, aside from something you put on a roof, what is shingles? Shingles is a really uh, interesting disease. It's bizarre in my opinion. It's a, it's a painful rash that, that results from a viral infection. Uh, and, and how you acquire it is from having chicken pox uh, in, in childhood or at any time. And the recovery from childhood leaves the virus to hide, if you will, in the body until it has a chance to reactivate again. And the way it reactivates is it, it uh, walks down the nerve that it uh, has hidden in and creates a painful rash on the skin. Well, why do some people who have had chicken pox develop shingles and others don't? It's not clear. It's not even clear how the, the uh, recurrence uh, occurs. Um, it looks as if uh, people with impaired immune systems or that have had some sort of uh, uh, stress to their system are more susceptible to uh, having shingles. Um, also, people that are over the age of 50, uh, 50 I think, or 60 have uh, susceptibility to shingles. Um, but it's not really clear what causes some to, to get it and some don't. And, and you may have answered this. Are some people more at risk for developing shingles than others? People that are over 50 uh, are more at risk. And as you get older, um, some experts say that by the time you're 85, um, over half of those 85 will have had shingles. Um, also, uh, people that are at risk are those that have impaired immune systems, either from their diseases like cancer or um, uh, HIV, or people that are taking medications that impair their immune systems. That would be like long-term steroids, or even people that have had transplants and are taking medications to um, uh, avoid uh, rejection. Is shingles contagious? Well, it is, but uh, here's one of those bizarre things. It, uh, it can be, uh, you cannot give shingles to another person, but people that have not had chicken pox can acquire chicken pox from an active case of shingles. So, strange. Okay. What are the symptoms of shingles? Commonly what people will experience first is pain on a part of their body uh, where the virus is uh, attacking. Uh, they'll have two to three days of uh, sometimes very intense pain uh, followed by a uh, reddish rash uh, that eventually turns into blisters. Um, the whole process takes typically two to five weeks and uh, uh, results in non-scarring blisters, non-scarring rash. Um, and what's characteristic about shingles is it involves one area of skin on one side of the body always. So uh, the most common site is on the, on the torso, from the middle of the back, around the chest, to the middle of the chest in a band uh, that's supplied by one sensory nerve called a dermatome. It's a very unusual illness. How do you diagnose it? Well, it's pretty characteristic um, by history and also by exam. It's a very characteristic looking rash in a single band on the skin. Um, it's interesting, I'm practicing in Austin and I I actually got shingles myself, uh, but for five or six days, I didn't know what it was. It was on the back of my neck. I went to a dermatologist friend, and uh, the first thing she said was, you are an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy to diagnose clinically. Uh, occasionally, we'll do scrapings of the rash and look at those under the microscope, but uh, it's, it's simple clinically if you look at the whole picture, if you can be objective. Once you have a diagnosis, how do you treat it? Well, currently there's um, uh, medications that are uh, prescribed. They are antiviral medications like acyclovir, valcyclovir, and a couple of others. And what those do is those shorten the duration of infection, uh, much like uh, the flu virus or the uh, flu uh, medication today shortens a flu infection. So it, it probably re results in uh, less severe symptoms and shortens the length of time that the rash will be present. You mentioned length of time. How long does a case of shingles typically last? Uh, usually from two uh, to five weeks altogether, um, from the onset of the pain until the, the rash is cleared up. Now about 20% of people unfortunately will have persistent pain even after the rash is cleared up. That's called post-herpetic neuralgia and it can be fairly severe. It can lead to chronic pain for months or even years later. Why do some people experience such intense pain when they have the shingles? 
And that's not very clear either. It, it's, uh, it seems that the virus in its initial battle with the immune system, uh, when, it, when it resorts to its hiding place in a nerve root, it damages the nerve in some way. So reactivation of the nerve, uh, or, or reactivation of the virus along the nerve will result in more pain and more uh, confused sensory signals on those patients than others. So and that's probably what results in the post neuralgia as well. Are there any comfort measures available at home for treating shingles? People will often uh, put warm or cool compresses on the rash at its height. Uh, that helps to soothe the rash. Uh, they will use things like uh, calamine lotion or uh, anti-itch creams. Those are all fairly appropriate. Um, the best thing to do is, if, if, uh, if possible, is to take uh, the antiviral medicine to shorten the, the uh, length of time and also to reduce the pain. Do shingles leave any long-term complications in its wake? Several people can, uh, can get uh, pretty severe complications. Probably the most common is the post herpetic neuralgia, and that's about 20%. Um, the next most common is uh, pneumonia, actually, can be caused because it is a virus that causes viral pneumonia in chickenpox. It can do the same uh, in uh, shingles. Um, another bad uh, permanent complication is uh, impaired vision whenever the rash occurs around the eye it can affect vision and cause permanent uh, eyesight loss. Um, and then lastly, probably, uh, the, although it's less common, you can get a brain uh, uh, infection called encephalitis from the virus, and that can be uh, uh, quite debilitating. Is there any way to prevent getting a case of the shingles? Well, uh, right now, uh, as of 2006, there is a vaccine available, and uh, studies have shown that it's about 50% effective in preventing uh, an outbreak of shingles. So patients that have had chickenpox um, that get the, uh, the vaccine that's specifically for shingles uh, can improve their odds by 50% by or so, and that's uh, currently about the only way we know of to prevent it. Very well. Doctor, thanks for your time. Thank you.